Hello and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. This is going to be a short one. Uh, first off, let me say, uh, wish everybody a happy new year, uh, in case I didn't already. And uh, for my first video of the year, a standalone video of the year, I would like to uh, show you the power of decomp. If you don't know already, I released a GNOME edition of Zero Linux. Yeah, uh, it's back, but to know more, I'll link the, to the video explaining all that at the, at the end. Suffice it to say that it exists. How you can get it, you'll find out in the, uh, in the video at the end. But as I was working on zero, zero G, I discovered the power of decomp. Decomp allows you to modify the system like, think about it like if you're coming from Windows, think about it like the registry or admin console or whatever it's called. So you can do things to your system. Uh, you'll have features and options to mess with more than the actual settings have, GNOME settings have. Uh, but you have to be careful with that, very careful because it can make or break your system. So without further ado, let's uh, get to it. This is Zero Linux GNOME Edition, or as I label it as Zero G. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's say, for whatever reason, you messed up your system. Uh, you started messing with it, and something happens, and you want to go back to vanilla GNOME. So you have a, a, a command that I'm going to show you right here. It's called dconf reset dash f forward slash org forward slash gnome. What does that mean? What, what will that do? Well, in a few words, it's going to reset the whole thing back to vanilla gnome. When I'm not talking about the zero Linux uh, settings. It's going to reset the entire system back to vanilla gnome. Think about it like Fedora, the way Fedora ships with pure vanilla, no, vanilla ish gnome. I'm going to hit enter right now and you're going to see something happen. Enter. And since I don't ship uh, the default GNOME wallpapers in 0G, you're going to end up with a blue screen. But what did what happened just now? Everything just disappeared. The dock disappeared, the transparency, everything disappeared. Yeah, you're back to vanilla GNOME. Activities is back. The default dock icons are back. Uh, iPad-like uh, icons on the on the thing it's vanilla no if I go to extensions if I go to extensions all the extensions have been disabled they're still there but they're all disabled as you can see this is an amazing command to run I wish KDE had such a command yeah me being a KDE fanboy I wish it uh, it came on KDE as well. Just one command, everything reset, and we can recustomize to our liking. You can use that command to your advantage. Uh, if you want to come back to uh, zero Linux defaults, the defaults that ship out of the box with zero G, well, that's easy too. You just type X D con zero D con and you hit enter. What happens? All the settings are back. Nice, right? Okay, let's say you want to, you set up your, uh, there's another feature uh, that I need to mention about Deconf. If you want, if you set up your system, your GNOME system, just the way you like it, just the way you like it, and you don't want to lose those settings. Well, that's easy too. You just run the following command in terminal. Deconf dump forward slash org forward slash GNOME forward slash you pipe it into a configuration file. I call it here gnome-desktop.com. You hit enter. You do an ls, and you're going to see it right here, gnome-desktop.com. If you want to see what it contains, you just do cat gnome dash. All your settings are saved into that file. Now, to new users, this is gibberish, but for experienced users, this is what we call our uh, dot, uh, dot file for GNOME. You can back it up either on, uh, what's it called, uh, Google Drive, you can back it up uh, on whatever cloud, Nextcloud or whatever, 
back that file up and whenever you install vanilla gnome you can just import your settings but to do to successfully import your settings, that's the configure configuration file that will not contain the extensions you will have to reinstall all the extensions and then import that file only then will you uh will you be able to get back to an active state just install all the extensions no need to enable one by one just install them then import that file and your settings will be brought back just like I showed you. When you want to import your settings, let's say change background. You have all, you don't want any extensions. You want to stick to light, uh, to a light theme and you want to use this wallpaper instead. And you just want to use, let's say, uh, type extensions. You just want arc menu close and you decided okay that's what i want hit enter it dumped it into the file and now you want to import uh, import it let's say you reset we did a reset again and you want to import it now you just type this command it does deconf load instead of dump org gnome from file gnome desktop.com hit enter and your settings are back with the wallpaper we have chosen and only arc menu extension enabled wow this is so awesome and i'll have you know this is what zero zero g uses to apply my set uh, my settings on top of vanilla gnome that's all zero g is Zero G is my config on top of vanilla gnome. That's it. Simple. Now I'm going to go uh, over uh, deconf the GUI version because it does have a GUI front end. You just type deconf in arc menu. Of course, it warns you uh, thanks for using uh, deconf editor for editing your settings don't forget that some options may break applications so be careful be very careful don't use this unless you know what you are doing so let's hit i'll be careful i'm gonna go to org gnome and here you can start modifying things for example uh let's say uh, you want to modify the gnome terminal yeah there it is legacy header bar look at gnome terminal right now it's a very thick header bar there's no setting for it. If you go to settings, the GNOME settings, there's nothing about, if you go to preferences, there's nothing about the header bar, just color, scrolling, command, compatibility, text, nothing. So if you don't like this thick header bar, you want to bring it back to legacy, you close terminal, you disable that, you select here, false, you apply, then you open terminal again. There you go. It's much thinner and you got the menu back. Short example, small example of what you can do, the things you can do with uh, decomp. But again, I warn you, do not use it unless you know what you are doing. I would highly recommend you create a backup of your system. Whatever method you use to backup your system, back it up first and then start messing with uh, uh, decomp. It's an amazing tool. So use it to, uh, at your own risk. I'm just showing you here the power of decomp. That was a short video. I'm not gonna drag it on uh, any longer. I just showed you the uh, examples of what you can do. I hope you like this video uh, and uh, it's proven useful to you. And if you want some uh, more videos like this, just let me know in the comments uh, below. And uh, in closing, I would like to mention the, uh, the way to get uh, zero G ISO. You can either donate for the ISO via the donation links in the video description, or you can build it yourself for free using the, uh, the, uh, the, the guide on GitHub that I will be linking also in the video description. And I will, uh, at the end of the video, I will be linking, I will be showing you in the cards, the video where you can, uh, that, uh, where it will show you how to build a zero G for free. So with that being said, have a blessed day and hope that 2023 will be awesome for you guys. God bless you. And I will see you in the next one.